Hi nerds, hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are going to channel our uh, inner Amazonian warrior with a warrior pose flow. So let's get right into it. We will start off with our ankle to knee pose. This is one of my favorite ways to warm up because you start to open up the hips, start to get a little bit of a stretch, but it's not too much too fast. So starting ankle to knee, right leg is on top, ankles and knees are, as the name implies, stacked on top of each other. We'll start here just beginning to warm up and activate our breath. So inhale, warm and wide, expand everything in your low belly. And exhale, squeeze everything in and out, exhaling through the nose. Inhale here. Exhale. Really getting our victorious breath going. Inhale one last time. Exhale. Keeping that breath throughout the whole practice, we'll just start using our arms. So inhale, reach up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart center and twist to the right. Inhale up. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist to the right. Inhale last time. Exhale and twist to the right. This time we'll hold it for a breath. Exhale, and from here you can start to walk yourself over the right leg. Still twisting towards the right, so we're facing towards the right here. The right leg. Just finding that gentle edge of stretch, making sure that you're grounding your left hip into the earth. You don't want your hip popping up off the floor. From here, staying low, walk yourself towards the center. Just finding that edge of stretch in the center. And then from here, walking yourself over to the other side. So coming to the left, again, making sure that you're grounding your right hip into the earth so it's not lifting up like this. Perfect, walking yourself back up and we'll switch sides. So this time, left leg comes on top Ankles and knees are stacked. Uh, it's okay if your, your knees and your ankles aren't necessarily touching. So if there's space here, if it's comfortable, you can put a blocker pillow there. Just kind of let the space be there. That's totally fine. And just let gravity do the work. Again, we're not going for a crazy stretch right now. Just warming up. So starting with that breath again. Really focusing on it in case we forgot about it a little bit while we were moving. Inhale here. Exhale, inhale, warm and wide and everything in the low belly expands. Exhale, squeezing everything in and out, exhaling through the nose. Now getting the arms involved, so inhale up. Exhale, hands come to heart center in Anjali Mudra first and then twist to the left. Inhale, Anjali Mudra also your namaste hand position. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale here, exhale, twist to the left this time, hold it for a breath, wave up through the spine, make sure your spine is still tall, and with that length in the spine, fold over the left leg to that first edge of stretch, again grounding the right hip towards the earth, stretching away from it, twisting your upper body towards the floor. So it's more of a twist, not so much a side bend. Then walking yourself back to center. You can get some waves in the spine here. Get some length. And then walk yourself back over to the right. Really grounding into the earth with the left hips. Again, twisting more here than we are side bending. Walk yourself back up, fantastic job. So now we will come onto our hands and knees, really grounding into the earth here. Start just a couple of cat cows, getting the spine moving in another direction. Taking a yo 
yogi's choice moment and holding any areas of stretch along the spine that you might need. And really grounding it into the earth with your fingertips, planting onto the palms and making your way back to your downward dog. You can walk out the feet here, stretching one leg a little bit longer than the other, stretching out the calf muscles, warming up the backs of the legs. And from here, I want you to bend everything, bend your elbows and knees and wave yourself forward to your plank pose. Come onto your knees, lower through your chaturanga, inhale here, prepare. And so roll yourself in and up, long through the spine, long through the crown of the head, into a cobra. And exhale, back to down dog. All right, so we're just gonna do one little sequence on each side, channeling our warrior, so inhale here, Get close to the earth, lift the right leg to the sky. Hold it here for a moment and exhale. Bend your knees and elbows and bring your knee into your chest for core plank one. Inhale here, back to down dog splits. Exhale, bending's gonna give you a lot more space to lift into your core plank. One last time. And now step your right foot to your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, bend the back knee, roll yourself in and up, coming to a high lunge to prepare. Now from here, we're going to come into our warrior one. So ground the back foot naturally, kind of at a diagonal position. Now from here, you want to keep your hips more diagonal. You'll hear a lot of people say, or teachers say even, to turn your hips. Well, that's really going to twerk your knee to turn your hips forward. So keep that natural diagonal angle in your foot, knees are in line, the same angle, and hips are more open to the side. And then from here, you twist with your upper body to face forward. Awesome, good job. So from here, we'll do some goddess arms, so bending 90 degrees in the elbows, and inhale here, mini back bend, back bend stretch. Exhale, folding forward a little. Inhale here. Back to your goddess arms, exhale, stretch the upper back, inhale, and exhale. Fantastic job. Now inhale, reach everything up. Now we're gonna come into our warrior two. So back foot is more perpendicular to the back of the mat. You're coming more into a 90 degree angle with your limbs. And again, knees and toes are in line. And make sure you're not leaning too far one way or the other in your warrior two. You want nice stacked hips and spine and shoulder alignment. And from here, we're gonna do fierce mudra, one of my favorites. So inhale, reach everything up and exhale, press out through your palms, really fierce stretch there, activating your arm strength. Inhale up, exhale, inhale last time, exhale through your fierce mudra. Awesome. Now we'll take the left arm to the back leg. Start by bending, getting just a little bit closer to the earth and unfurl your arm to the back for reverse warrior. You can even straighten out that front leg if that feels good. And exhale, you're gonna cartwheel the hands back to the earth. Face forward again, now we'll do something a little bit different, really getting into our right leg. Walk your fingertips out in front of you and bring your left knee into your chest. Inhale here, long spine. We're gonna lift up and extend our left leg back like you're pressing into the wall back there. And we'll come into our warrior three, but we're gonna do some pulses. So get close to the earth and lift yourself up with that strength. And then bend just a little bit, lift up, bend just a little. Hands at your heart center in Namaste. And one more time, press up, holding your warrior three now. You can fly your arms behind you. Ooh, and if you lose your balance, hey, that's okay, that happens. <laughs> in life and in yoga, right? Inhale here, prepare one last time. Exhale, make way all the way back to your plank. Knees come down, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, rowing in and up. 
and back to a downward facing dog. Awesome. Notice the difference that you have made with doing that work on the one leg. Just hang out here in downward dog for a moment. Find your breath if it's gone anywhere. I want to appreciate the fact that we have two sides, so we are going to do all of that on the other leg. So inhale here, prepare. Getting close to the earth and lift left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your knee into your chest for core plank one. Inhale up, exhale for core plank two. Remembering to bend your knees and elbows, give yourself space and momentum for core plank three and step the left foot to the left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine first. Bend the back knee, rolling yourself in and up to your high lunge. All right, now, warrior one on this side, remember, good alignment, so ground your foot down naturally, knees in line with your toes, keeping your hips at that natural diagonal, and then twisting with the upper body into your warrior one. And we'll use our goddess arm, so inhale here, exhale, stretch the upper back, Inhale, getting a mini back bend, strengthening our back a little bit. Exhale. Inhale last time. And exhale. Now inhale, arms come up as you twist and pressing out into your warrior two. Remember finding good alignment here as well. We want hips, shoulders stacked so we're not leaning all over the place. And then arms come out into warrior two. Now we'll do our fierce mudra, so inhale up, exhale, really pressing out through the palms, inhale up, and press out like you mean it, just, don't just do the motions, actually mean it, you'll feel the strength when you do, exhale, awesome job here, right hand comes to the back leg, get a little close to the earth by bending everything as you unfurl the left arm into your reverse warrior, And exhale, curl the hands to the earth. Now for our super warrior challenge, really ground into the earth, bring the right knee into your chest, prepare here with a long spine, then extend the right leg, really press out through the heel like you're pressing into the wall. Now bend your left knee, you wanna use that momentum and that power to lift yourself up into your warrior three. And I'll do some pulses here. So inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift up. Inhale. Exhale. You got one more in you. And back into your warrior three. Arms can extend behind you. If you want, you can do that entire warrior three sequence with your fingertips on the earth for added balance. Exhale. Make your way back into your plank. Come onto your knees, lower through Chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Weave yourself in and up, and exhale. Back to your downward dog. Awesome, notice how good that feels. Pedaling out your feet. Finding your breath, you can even lion's breath here. Stick the tongue out and sigh. And walk yourself forward. We're gonna come to a seated position and make our way onto our backs. Just hug your knees into your chest for a moment. You can even rock back and forth, do little circles. Just appreciate all of that warrior power that you just built from inside yourself. You had all of that in you. Awesome job. And from here, we're gonna plant your feet onto the earth. Really ground your hands into the earth too here and we're gonna Roll up slowly, lifting into a bridge. Just a nice stretch here, doesn't have to be a super active pose. Lowering back to the earth. And from here you can do goddess arms again. A windshield wiper the legs. One of my favorite ways to cool down Feels so good on the spine, feels good on the abdominal wall because you get a little bit of a stretch, get a little bit of a butt massage, all kinds of great stuff. All right, 
perfect. From here, you're going to hug your right knee into your chest. You can leave your left knee bent where it is, or if you want, extend it out a little bit farther onto the earth. And then from here, press your heel up towards the sky, clasp behind your leg. We're not going to worry so much about pulling our leg towards us. We really want to press the leg up to the sky and press against our hands. Creating a lot of traction here. Good stretch. And then you can bend the knee again. You can leave it straight if you want. If you want a little deeper twist in the hips, but we'll drop the knee to the right. You can look, to, or drop the knee to the left, I should say. Look to the right if you want. And again, you can keep your right leg a little straighter. If that feels good on your hips. And come back to center. Hug your knees in again. Right leg can come onto the floor, knee bent, or extend the right leg long. Left leg presses up to the sky, heels really pressing, so your foot is flexed, clasping onto the back of the hamstring, and pressing your hands into your leg as much as you're pressing your leg into your hands. Feel that strength and that traction there. And bending your knee here. Knee can come across. Left arm can stretch out. You can even straighten the left leg more if that feels good to you. Just find the stretch that feels good and that you like. And back to center. Awesome. Hug your knees in again. And from here we can come into happy baby. So grab onto your toes. And knees are bent. You want to make sure that your hips are still on the ground here. You don't want to be lifting up crazy. You can gently rock back and forth, but you still want your hips mostly on the ground. And I've got my elbows inside my knees. Some people like to wrap their arms all the way around and grab onto the pinky toe edge of their foot. You can do that as well. And then from here, take any yogi's choice moment stretch that you might need and then come into your final resting pose shavasana that you did so much warrior work to earn so good job and stay here for a few minutes to really let the new alignment and all that strength really settle and solidify in your body and of course make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you get notifications for all of the new flows and make sure you're on the uh, Nerd of Yogi's email list. Got some exclusive content for you. So really hope you enjoyed this warrior flow. And I really hope to see you on the mat again soon. Namaste.